In many ways, industrial batteries are like young infants. They need to be changed and cleaned regularly. If they become too tired, they start to act up. They constantly need to be replenished with water. But given too much, they'll spit up all over. If you take care of your battery, it will last for many years. Ignore it, and you will have problems. The typical industrial battery is really a series of individual cells joined together by lead connectors. Each cell has a positive post and a negative post. The cell is filled with a solution of sulfuric acid and water called electrolyte. Each cell generates approximately two volts of electricity. When it's time to recharge the battery, park the lift truck with the emergency brake on. It is best to recharge the battery when it's out of the truck. But if that's not possible, fully open the battery compartment to allow heat and hydrogen gas to escape. Hydrogen is a highly flammable gas, and for this reason, batteries must only be charged in well-ventilated areas. No smoking or open flames are permitted. Unplug the battery connector from the truck and attach the charger connector to the battery, never to the truck. Check the cables for wear and the connectors for damage. Turn on the charger following the manufacturer's instructions. When the charging process is complete, always turn the charger off before unplugging the connectors. In March of 1995, a newly trained operator was testing the electrolyte with a hydrometer. He was not wearing any face protection. He squeezed the hydrometer too hard. This caused the electrolyte to spray up on his face. He immediately went to an eye wash station. Luckily, he was trained on what to do if he came in contact with acid and suffered no injuries. You should always wear protective equipment when you're anywhere near battery acid. Gloves, goggles, and a body shield are mandatory. Have an eye wash station nearby. If acid gets into your eyes, go immediately to the eye wash station and run water over the affected area. Then, get medical attention. After charging, remove the caps of three or four cells to determine the electrolyte level. Only a flashlight can be used to look into the cells. When the battery is fully charged, the electrolyte has a high acid content. This can be tested with a hydrometer. By testing a small sample of electrolyte, you can determine how much energy is in a cell. This will also locate bad cells in a battery. A full reading should be around 1.280. As the battery is discharged, the acid level becomes weaker. A discharged battery will read approximately 1.1620 on the hydrometer. Take hydrometer readings of the cells and record the findings. Look for large differences between cells and report any unusual findings. To avoid acid spills, only add water after charging. Adding too much water before charging will cause overflow during charging and create a hazardous spill. If electrolyte does escape, it must be neutralized with baking soda and water. Many people use a crane to remove the battery from a lift truck for maintenance. Carefully attach an approved insulated lifting beam to the battery and lift it out.
place it near the charger, then pick up the freshly charged battery. Be careful, the battery weighs thousands of pounds and can crush your hands or feet. Use only equipment designed for this purpose. Electric trucks depend on the battery to balance their loads. Use a battery that is the proper weight and voltage. Check the lift truck's nameplate and compare it with the battery's weight and voltage as marked on the battery casing. Join the connectors and close the cover. Some trucks use battery slides. Remove the safety gate and roll the battery out of the truck. In order to align the fresh battery to the battery compartment, connect extension cables. Then, drive the truck into position. Remove the extension cables and roll the fresh battery into the truck. Replace the safety gate and then connect the battery cables. Here are 10 tips on how to get the most out of your battery. Follow the manufacturer's instructions. The life of a battery and your lift truck controls can be severely shortened by not following the manufacturer's instructions on charging and maintaining the battery. Inspect the connectors. A loose, cracked, or pitted connection can cause arcing or sparking. Don't use the connector as a switch. Always shut off the charger when connecting or disconnecting the battery. Add water after charging. Charging increases the electrolyte levels in cells and can cause overflowing. Overflowing means a loss of electrolyte and damages your truck. Keep it clean. Batteries in their compartments should be kept clean and dry. If electrolyte is spilled on top of the battery, neutralize it immediately with a solution of baking soda and water. Always wear a face mask or goggles, rubber gloves, and a rubber apron when cleaning batteries. Don't lay tools on top of a battery. Battery gases are explosive. Keep vent caps in place. Vent caps allow gas to escape and keep foreign objects from falling into the cell. Remove vent caps only to add water or to take hydrometer readings. Keep your battery cool. A normal charge can increase the temperature of a battery by 15 degrees or more. Operating hot batteries shortens their overall life. Allow the battery to cool down at least the same length of time that it was charged. Don't overcharge. No amount of overcharging can increase battery capacity, and it substantially shortens battery life. No smoking, sparks, or open flames in the area. Charge in a well-ventilated room. If electrolyte gets in contact with your skin or eyes, rinse thoroughly with water for at least 10 minutes and get immediate medical attention.